some less than stellar tattoos and um, before we start I just wanted to talk about the fact that well I myself am not a tattoo artist I do not do tattoos and I have also yet to receive a tattoo on my body so my critique might be invalid you can completely disagree and you might like some of these tattoos so I'll be uh, including the names of the artists that are that I know actually because some of these don't have their names um, either in the description or on the picture itself when I show it but without further ado let us start off with the first one and the first one that I wanted to do is a really cute one um, <laughs> it's a really cute avocado holding tacos and, and like with a, with a mustache and a sombrero it's I, I found it hilarious and um, but, but I think it, it's still a great one like uh, these types of like unique uh, tattoos are always something that I'm that I'm up for uh, I've always thought about the fact that like I would love to have like cool tattoos all over me but uh, at the same time I'd like um, I'd like to have a few funny ones uh, ones that just like exude my type of humor and, and this like despite this maybe not being 100% me or should I say my type of like humor or my type of thing I still think it's really funny it's really cute um, it's pretty well executed um, I'm gonna be judging a bit uh, harder in a lot of ways um, some of the lines shouldn't cross like the line between the arm and the avocado where it just continues on the arm I'm not sure why like that's just that's a design problem in that sense uh, but generally it is extremely well executed the the look of it you can see it from like a mile away what it is and and like i love to have this on me even the line weight is pretty consistent the only thing that i that some that somewhat uh, sticks out when i look at it is how nice the eyeballs are in in how round they are and then you have the uh, the circles on the hat itself which are completely kind of inconsistent as far as it goes downwards so that is my only like problem but once again it's a nitpick and that's what I'll be doing throughout this video anyway so expect a lot of that uh, but yeah this one was cute I really love the design of this one awesome tattoo from it's a tattoo from uh, vegan tattoos Marianne Hernandez Mexican avocado ta taco vegan tattoo <laughs> one which is uh, oh yeah this one <laughs> I, I thank God I haven't had nightmares from this one but um my, like the good thing that I can say about this is it's kind of well executed but um it's ugly as hell like way that she's she's drawn like I know it's new school and new school em emphasizes um, like like or should I say uh, enlarges certain parts but like this just looks ugly and if and uh, in the situation that for example the person m might be completely fine and love this tattoo but for me I hate the design it looks terrible the move the here the here wrecking ball itself looks nice but like it looks good it looks new schooly but she looks horrible like i just hate it i hate how her, how her buck teeth and her tongue look and her entire face just bleh. and yeah yeah I, I just don't like it but it, it is executed pretty well overall let me just check some of the details some like line density inconsistencies which are like weird I don't know if they're they were there if they were intentional because at places I am sure that they were like where the where the um, uh, the wrecking ball meets her hand like it's obvious that the line consistency uh, consistency of the wrecking ball is larger so you can actually see that it's that it's like underneath her 
and a separate object but like some other places i don't know but yeah it's generally well executed but i hate the design i absolutely loathe the design it's just i just find it extremely ugly but yeah continuing on next one here's the first one where i was just like god damn what is this um i hate this tattoo i hate this tattoo so much i i can't even explain how much i hate this tattoo this is like i, I don't even know what it's supposed to be exactly it's i think it's like a merge between like a helmet or I, I don't know if it's a merge it might just be a broken helmet on a skeleton or something i i i, I just don't know i i can't see i it's so badly um it's it's shaded horribly like my god some of the, you just can't see the textures it's like a bajillion different differently textured and um and shaded parts that you just can't make out from one another um the teeth look horrible they don't look like teeth they look like i don't know what those are i really don't they, they're just like actually they do look like teeth but they look like inverted teeth really weird looking inverted teeth the skull itself i wouldn't be able to tell you if it, it was a skull if I if it wasn't like plainly obvious that that it was an attempt of a skull, a bad one, but yeah, I just I just hate this tattoo so much. I I just I don't know. Maybe some of you like it. If somebody likes it, please tell me what you like about it, because I have so many things that I don't like about it. Like the design overall is just bad. The execution is bad. The look is bad. It's just overall pretty bad so i'm just sad for the person that has to have this on their skin like jesus that i just don't like it no no continuing on another um cutesy funny one i mean it's <laughs> it's hilarious <laughs> that somebody would actually put this on themselves but it's still fucking funny it's fucking raw it's fucking raw I, I literally, I laughed so hard when I saw this, but, <laughs> like, who thought, I, I, I'm genuinely curious, who thought of this, this type of idea, it's really funny, and it's, it's pretty well, I mean, you can obviously see what it is, it's Gordon Ramsay, head on a dinosaur, uh, the dinosaur itself is done pretty well, nice shading, you can see exactly what it is you can see gordon's face it's obviously not supposed to be realistic i mean hyper realistic it's just it's supposed to be a cartoony type of style so that's it's good in that sense and even the the lettering itself is pretty consistent overall i don't know if it's because of the camera angle it might it seems like it's like not in a line but i think that's just because of the camera angle overall it's a great tattoo it's a really unique tattoo i'm i'm still fascinated that somebody has this on their body but it's a fantastic too tattoo and a fantastic thing the thing to talk about like anywhere like just imagine coming up to to like a dinner with like, either with a date or like you're you're somebody that you just met or something like hey look at this <laughs> and then just showing like <laughs> this <laughs> but yeah fantastic just a fantastic job i i love this tattoo Next up is this deer tattoo. Um, it's a, a very different style um, from the other ones. It's not cartoony. It's 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 a very distinct type of style. I forgot what it's called, but um, it's absolutely gorgeously shaded all over. The colors are really nice. Uh, the pepper peppered shading is definitely definitely gives this thing a, a unique type of look um i like how the tattoo ends i'm not sure if that's a wand if it is then i like or it, maybe it's a wax I, i'm not sure what it is the, the ending of its head of its neck i'm not sure what that is but if it's a wand it, i mean it's probably a wand it makes sense for it to be but yeah i love the colors i love overall how it's done how it looks it looks really good and i i love this tattoo it's really 
it's everything about it is just cool, unique, different, and, and like, and well executed. I generally don't uh, like animal tattoos. I think they're very basic, um, but but when they're done in a in a unique way and with and nicely composed and everything done well, like it, it just ends up being something like this, something really awesome. And like I, I legit, this is like one of those situations where I'm like. I see this type of tattoo, I would go to this person to get their tattoo because it just looks that good. If it, if they can make this type of tattoo, they can probably make anything else. Like, I mean, not literally anything, but like a lot of other stuff. But yeah, awesome tattoo. Um, next up, another joke tattoo. <laughs> Hello, is it me you're looking for? Once again, it's a, it's a pretty well executed tattoo overall. Um, you can obviously see what, what everything is, uh, that this is supposed to be Waldo, and that this is the re a reference to the song, uh, and everything, so so overall it's it's very, very nicely done. Even the, the lines are quite consistent, the, the, um, the lettering is also really consistent, I, I really like that, It's because it's really hard to be consistent in lettering oftentimes as a tattoo artist so I definitely respect anyone that can make their their um, their lettering and letters and text in general look like it's all lit like written by a single person and nicely out of like one line or like it was from, a, from one line even if it wasn't but yeah a funny one and, and definitely a unique one <laughs> this botch um, a lot of you might look at this and think it it's not bad, it looks okay, for an eagle it's pretty good, but there, there's a lot of design flaws with this, this tattoo, like a lot of them, particularly whatever is happening with that claw, that other claw, I don't know what, where it is and what it's doing, the one uh, right next to the head, I have no idea what's happening with it and why it's there, because um, it, it just looks out of place other wing is of the one that's behind is just as jacked as that one as that um that leg um because it's just anatomically completely weird and we and you just can't get the perspective you you're not sure where you're looking at it from it's like you're looking at it just from the side way from sideways like 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 it's just plastered like 2d sideways and then you have this leg, which is, I guess, supposed to be in like, in a separate. Sp I don't know. I really have no idea what's what's supposed to be, be happening with it. Besides that, um, the red ends of the wings look inconsistent, quite inconsistent. Like each part is is differently colored, with a different kind of type of. It's it's the same shade. They're still pretty different and, and differently put in, and they're different lengths. Same with the, the gradient um, of shading between his his wings. The wings themselves don't look like wings particularly, especially with that ton of black that is put in between them. Um, the legs themselves, I don't know. I just uh, with the legs, it's not a design thing. I, uh, it's not a it's not a technical thing. I just don't like it. And yeah, and whatever the tail thing is doing, like, I just don't get the, per the perspective of this thing. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, the legs are, are forward, then the tail is, like, over here, and the head is over here, and the leg is, like, over there. And it's, and you have no idea what's happening. I literally have no idea what is happening in this tattoo. It's so badly designed. And I don't even like the colors either. The colors are really muted. They're, they're dark and, and like... I think everything is just gonna be a big blotch at some point in the future when it heals because it's just so so dark and un, uninspired I just don't like it it's just bad okay um, next up is the M and M and M M and M and M M and M and M and M and M M and M and M M and M and M another joke one and and I I found this one also hilarious like I have no how do these people ideas this is hilarious it's <laughs> it's so funny but um i love it it's definitely it's well done it looks quite new schooly i 
can't really find anything that sticks out as, as bad in it. Um, the background actually fits it, despite it not being my favorite color, it actually fits um, the, the overall look of the, the tattoo. And I just love, I just love the idea and the design itself. It's hilarious, it's just hilarious, but yeah, not much more to say about this one. Um, next up is a really nice tattoo for myself. Uh, I'm not that into butterflies or pinkish tattoos. They're just not my style. And um, but butterfly, but this butterfly was really cool, and it looks really cool on her hand. If it's our on their hand, whoever it is, uh, it's really well designed. It fits her hand really nicely. I think it's it's just so nicely placed that that it looks like it flows with the hand really nicely. There's a nice amount of black there, which makes it look um, like it fit like it it has a bold, nice looking outline. The the gradients from one color to the other are really nice. All of the pinks look like they're from the same type of uh, the same type of pink, but the gradient from into the going into the black just looks so natural. It literally looks like like a like a butterfly sort of pattern. Um, each of these these like parts looks nice, even if they're some of them are quite different, and especially the endings. I like I really like how how a lot of these end with the the full black parts and the other like the oranges orangish white color that that is used is also really nice i ju i just really like it it overall it's a great tattoo well executed well designed i love it really nicely done uh the next one is another one that is questionable really really questionable i can imagine some of you might like this but when i look at it first of all what animal is this is this a cat? Is this a tiger? Is this a cheetah? I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like a tiger, but it also looks like a house cat. Its eyes are blue. It has pretty badly made um, flowers on its head. It's muted all over. Like there are just skin breaks everywhere, which probably shouldn't be there. Um, unless this is unfinished but it doesn't look like it. there's much that can be added. I mean, there is, but it looks like some things were added before other things were finished. Nah, I really, I don't like the, the butterflies either. I like the little effects on the sides, the like star, star like uh, dots or whatever they are. Um, but overall, I just don't know what this is. It's just, it just doesn't look like an animal enough. It looks like a cat, like some cat, I just don't know which one. And the lettering, that O is jacked as hell. You can see it from a mile away that it's not not nicely, it doesn't flow nicely. I think it says Olivia. Probably says Olivia. Um, but in general, the lettering isn't that, that nice. Especially that O, that O is terrible. I just really don't like this one. Like, as I said, I usually don't like animal tattoos, but I don't mean these. I mean animal tattoos. They're just uh, realistic tigers, lions, and stuff. Something that tries something is, is fine, but this one is just badly done. And it's not a particularly interesting design either. It's just eh, uninteresting. Let's continue. This one, I found this one so cool. This one is awesome. It's the o uh, Omega sign, Omega sign uh, with some, I think those are like Nordic type of um, runes or symbols. If not, they're just cracks, but they look really nice. Overall, it gets that really, des that nice anar anarchy type of um, chaos, chaotic and like, um, like rough type of type of look, a really nice type of look and I really like it. It's, it's well done. Black is really nicely punched in. It looks really good. Um, it, the placement itself, it's it's okay. It's not perf. I mean, it is pretty much perfect. It looks like it should be there, and uh, it generally looks nice. But I just I would want want to have this on my skin. It's just that cool. I, in this situation, for example, this might be a bit of my bias because I really like this type of tattoo. But uh, but it, it's still well executed even without my bias. There's nothing on it that is bad. Um, because there's a lot of skin breaks. It's not just a black blotch that you can't, uh, that just doesn't look like anything.
anything. You can obviously see that it's a, it, it's a symbol. It has parts that are that are different. It has uh, those rough parts, and it's just it's just good in my opinion. It's just good. But yeah, uh, that is it for this video. It actually lasted a lot longer than I than I anticipated. I actually have a few more um, tattoos ready, but I think that I will keep those for a a, a second video if you guys enjoy this one. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys thought about all of these different tattoos, what you think about this type of um, this type of video, if you enjoy it. And I'd love to do more of these because I really enjoy tattoos and I could find like a million of them to just talk about and see and discuss maybe with you guys, see what you guys think. Maybe you guys can send me in some of those. But in general, if this video gets like, I don't know how many, let's say 75 likes, I will make a part two, so get to it. <laughs> uh, but in any case, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment on what you thought. Subscribe for more of this type of content, and I will see you guys in my next video. Luckily, ASMR out.